spotted lanternfly is an insect that came to Pennsylvania from Asia and is now known to be in 14 counties around southeastern Pennsylvania. And so within five years, it made it all the way to Philadelphia's mainline suburbs, which is where we are now. You should not worry about lanternflies hurting your trees long-term if they're properly treated. They don't sting or bite. They're more of a nuisance than they are a threat. Well, it's about an inch long. The adult is gray and it looks like an oversized leafhopper. They can jump really well when you disturb them. The preferred host of spotted lanternfly is Ailanthus, the invasive tree from Asia. An important control measure is to remove any Ailanthus trees that are on your property. They also like many of our ornamental trees, such as styrax, red maple, walnut, willow, and we're still learning new trees that they feed on. Spotted lanternfly uses a piercing, sucking mouth part to feed on the tree sap. In doing that, it's draining the tree of all of its nutrients. As lantern flies feed, the honeydew falls onto whatever's underneath them, and eventually a black mold will grow on the honeydew. Honeydew and sooty mold is growing on ornamental plants that will cover those leaves with the black mold and reduce their ability to photosynthesize. Here we have a, a tricolor beech which is a very high value ornamental tree, has attracted a big group of lanternflies. And you can see the feeding has caused some sap and honeydew to flow out of the tree, which has attracted these yellow jackets to it. Lanternfly females lay between 50 and 100 eggs a year. So if we see this many this year, we may expect to see 50 times as many next year. Spotted lanternfly has one generation per year. So they spend the winter as eggs. When they hatch, the early life stages are called nymphs. As you get through June, they molt and get a little bigger. And then by August, the last nymph stage, what they call the fourth instar, is red with black dots. You can see some egg masses here, some of this white material and some of the eggs. A group of lanternflies on a, on a nice ornamental tree like this would warrant a call to us to protect it. While it's a problem worth tackling, this is a long ways from doing any significant damage to the tree. We're happy to come out and inspect your property, identify trees that spotted lanternflies are attracted to, and set up a program to protect them. But we're very confident that we're going to be able to control them and to keep the trees healthy.